Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is NBA King David. Make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that like button. Comment and let them know I sent you. The link will be down in the comment section. I need y'all to click that link, go up under his video, and let them know it's about that gangsta shit, fi or nah. Y'all already know how he coming. Never broke again. Bitch, I'm about that cancer shit. Bitch, I'm about that cancer shit. Bitch, I'm about banging clips. Bitch, I'm about that cancer shit. Bitch, I'm about that cancer shit. Bitch, I'm about that cancer shit. Throw up your fist. We can hit. Bitch, I'm about that cancer shit. Bitch, I'm certified step. I'm the leader of this age. ESTG artist, EST Lil Mike, shot and killed just two weeks after ESTG manager was shot and killed in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, I don't know who ESTG beefing with, but they most definitely putting belt the ass. Check it out. Louisville Metro Police are investigating after three men were shot in the Highlands early Sunday morning. LMPD spokesperson John Bradley said, Officers were called to the 900 block of Baxter's Avenue around 1.45 a.m. on reports of shots fired. One man was found dead at the scene. A second man was taken to the hospital where he died. Later, police were notified by hospital staff of a third man who had taken himself to the hospital after being shot. He expected to survive. Now they saying, why ESTG out here making diss tracks towards his ops? His ops is sliding on people in his entourage. Yeah. While he dropping diss tracks, his ops is sliding, killing his manager, killing his artists. And this happened all the time. This ain't nothing new. Because while the rapper is on the track, talking it, living a best life in other cities, in other states, enjoying life, they artists, they friends, they family is in the city with the ops who they turn and becoming victims. ESTG, I need you to put the mic down and reevaluate your life, gang. Because all that shit you talking on the track is getting your people picked off one by one by one. And I'm talking about this ain't months and years later, these weeks later. Like at this point, I wouldn't even be talking to the ops. I wouldn't even be taunting them or saying nothing about them. I changed the whole flow up. But this is a crazy and unfortunate situation, man. Condolences goes out to Lil Mike family and ESTG manager family, man. Like y'all gotta understand, you rappers that get on the track and touch your ops in front of millions of people, they gonna slide. Cause they feel played. They go to the club, everybody singing your song and it's talking about them. And some people might not know it's about them, but the city do. And that right there make them go with they move. That make them have to retaliate. And if they don't, they gonna look like a ussy. If you can't relocate your peoples out the city, out of harm's way, you rappers shouldn't be on the track dissing your ops in that same city. Because you out the way, you put up, you safe. But your family, your friends, and your team is still in the same jungle with these same people that you talking about. But y'all get in the comments and tell me what you think about this situation, man. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. It was a violent night in the Highlands. Two are dead and another is injured in an overnight shooting. It's our top story here on The Night Team. I'm Alex Dieterer. Police say shots rang out in the 900 block of Baxter Avenue last night. WHAS 11's Alexandra Goldberg and photojournalist Aspen Hester have the latest update. 
Violence late Saturday night in the Highlands, a shooting that left two dead and one injured. Here on the 900 block of Baxter Ave, questions still remain over the precise location of the violent incident. But what we do know is that Highlands bar goers are shaken up over the violent incident that killed two last night. People want to be around fun, lively bars with live music. Like I said, they don't want to get shot at the end of the night. That's crazy. LMPD says around 1.45 a.m., officers responded to a report of gunshots in a popular area of the original Highlands, an area known for its late night scene. Police say one man was pronounced dead on scene and another was taken to the hospital where he died. A third man was privately transported to the hospital and he is expected to survive. We cannot continue to tolerate a culture of violence. Metro Councilman Ben Reno Weber of District 8 covers much of the Highlands neighborhood. I think anytime you get alcohol and a concentration of violence together, like, that's just bad. Reno Weber says there is increased patrol in the Highlands and it will continue throughout the rest of summer. This is still one of the safest neighborhoods in our entire city and every incident like this reminds us that it is one incident too many. We did reach out to the alcoholic beverage control in Louisville to see if any action would be taken against any of the bars in the area. We have not heard a response as of this newscast. The Jefferson County Coroner's Office has not yet released identification of the homicide victims, and police say there are no known suspects at this time. Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is your boy Gator Bait. Go follow him on Instagram. Look him up on all platforms. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. He got a new video out called Might Be Mentioned. I'm talking about when you talk about that West, he might be mentioned. When you talk about some street shit, he might be mentioned. The link is down in the comment section. I need y'all to click that link. Subscribe to the channel and get in his comments and let him know. Is it popping or what? When they talk about that West, Gator might be mentioned. When they ask about some street shit, yeah, I might be mentioned. When they ask about who held it down, yeah, I might be mentioned. When they ask niggas don't fuck around, yeah, I might be mentioned. Promo alert, promo alert. Today is Demonic J. Make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that like button. Comment and let him know I sent you. Hey, he got the hottest mixtape in the streets. And you can find it on all platforms. But you really ain't got to go nowhere because the link going to be down in the comment section. Make sure you go check it out. I'm talking about he got bangers after bangers after bangers. Bitch, I'm cruising right back. About to hit the fire. Heard he talking on the gang. Bitch, not one of mine. Dr. 630 clip. That shit hanging down. Pull up blasting. I want action. Ain't no hanging now. Do me a favor. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Promo alert. Promo alert. If you need promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. $30 for one promo video on my YouTube. $50 for three promo videos on my YouTube, $70 for six promo videos on my YouTube, and $130 for 12 promo videos on my YouTube channel. Make sure y'all tap in and get that promo if you want to win.